गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन इट्स ऑफ साइंस क्लास एंड दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ सेकेंड चैप्टर द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज कैलिटल सिस्टम चिल्ड्रन यू नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सम पॉइंट्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू सेम चैप्टर सो नाउ लेट्स कम सो चिल्ड्रन नाउ प्लीज turn page number 28 of your science book and today i'm going to start from joints children a joint is a place where two or more bones connect joints help the body parts to move children you know what are joints joint a joint is a place where two or more bones connect you know there are 200 six bones in our body and the place where two or more bones connect with each other that place is called joint and joints help our body parts to move joints of the bones are held together by strong tissues called ligaments at the joints the surface of the bones are covered with soft elastic tissues called cartilage which protects the bones from wear and tear children you know joints of the bones are held together by strong tissues and tissue is called ligaments at the joints the surface of the bones are covered with soft elastic tissues and it is called cartilage children joints are of two types movable joints and immovable joints joints that do not move are called immovable joints the joints of the skull except lower jaw are an example or of, of immovable joints and children joints that help in movement are called movable joints the joints of knees elbows and hip are examples of movable joints children we have already discussed that joints are of two kinds first is immovable and second is movable joints where are the immovable joints found in our body you know the joints of skull are the example of immovable joints you know the joints that are found in our skull that the joints that are found in our skull is called immovable joints because they are not able to move and the joints that are able to move are called movable joints and the movable joints are found in our knees elbows and in our hips are examples of movable joints children now let's know about limbs arms and legs children you know human beings have four limbs how many limbs does human being has a human being has four limbs a pair of upper limbs are called arms and pair of lower limbs are called legs now let's know about upper limbs children upper limbs have two parts upper arm and lower arm upper arms are joined to the spine with the help of shoulder shoulder girdles the upper arm is made up of a single long bone called humerus that is joined to the two bones of the lower arm at the elbow children now let's know about lower limbs lower limbs lower limbs have two parts the upper leg 
and the lower leg. The upper leg has the longest bone that is called thigh bone in our body called the femur. Femur is joined to the two bones of the lower legs at the knees. The feet have number of so small bones. Now let's know about girdles. Children, girdles are ring like bony structure that support the limbs. There are two girdles present in human body. How many? Two. There are two girdles present in human body. First is the shoulder girdle and the second is hip girdle. Shoulder girdle is made up of a pair of shoulder blades and a pair of collar bones. Our upper arm is joined to the spine by the shoulder girdle. The hip girdle is made up of three bones fused together to form a single bone. The bottom of our spine is joined to the femur by hip girdles. Children, you know, girdles are ring-like bony structure that you can see in this picture. Okay, this is hip girdle and this is shoulder girdle. And children, they support the limbs. The girdle support the limb. There are two girdles present in human body. How many? Two. First is hip girdle and the second is, first is hip girdle and the second is shoulder girdle. The shoulder girdle and hip girdle. These are the kinds of girdles, okay? Children, shoulder girdle is made up of a pair of shoulder blades. These are the shoulder blade. And a pair of collar bones. This is the collar bone. So children, our upper arm is joined to the spine by the shoulder girdles. The hip girdle is made up of Three bones. There are three bones in our hip girdle fused together to form a single bone. The bottom of our spine is joined to the femur by hip girdle. Now let's know the importance of bones. Children, you know, shape and support. They give shape, support and strength to the body. And they also protect the soft internal organs such as brain, heart and lungs and many other parts of our body. Now, children, let's know about types of movable joints. There are four types of movable joints. They are hinge joints, ball and socket joint pivot joint and gliding joints. So first of all, let's know about hinge joints. Children, mm -hmm. hinge joints are present in knees, elbows, fingers mm -hmm. and toes. They can move in two directions, up and down or backward and forward. Means wherever we have hinge joints, from that place, we can move our body part into two directions. First is up and down and the second is backward or yeah, forward. We can say in Hindi, jis jage hamara hinge joint paaya jata hai, wahaan se hum apne body part ko do parts, do sides mein kahin bhi move kar sakte hai. Jaise up ya down ya yeah, fir backward or forward, aage ya piche ki or. ओके okay? ये कहां-कहां पाया जाता है जैसे हमारे कोहनी में एल्बो में ओके okay? फिंगर्स में और हमारे टॉयज में नेक्स्ट इज वॉल एंड सॉकेट जॉइंट्स चिल्ड्रन वॉल एंड सॉकेट जॉइंट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन हिप्स एंड शोल्डर्स बॉल शेप्ड एंड ऑफ वन बोन फिट्स इनटू द कप शेप्ड सॉकेट ऑफ अनदर बोन this type of joint allows movement in all directions. 
Now let's know about pivot joints. Children, the pivot joints is present between the skull and the neck. This type of joint allows you to move our head sideways, upwards and downwards. Now let's know about gliding joints. Children, the gliding joints is present in wrists, ankle and between any two vertebrae of the spine. This joint helps the bones to slide over each other. It allows our back to bend, twist and turn. Now let's know about importance of joint. Children, joints make our body flexible. And movement in different angles of body parts is made possible only due to joints. Children, you know, we are able to move our hands, move our fingers. We are able to move our legs and we can move our neck so that we can say that joints play an important role in this work. Due to joints, we can move our body parts and we can have flexibility in our body parts. And it they made possible only due to our joints. Movement in different angles of body parts is made possible only due to joints. Now children, let's know about muscles. Children, muscles are made up of bundles of fibers that cover the bones in our body. Over 600 different muscles are present. You know, children, in our body, there are 600, more than 600 different muscles are present. They are attached to the bones through strong tough bands called tendons. Based on their functions, muscles are of two types. First is voluntary muscles and second is involuntary muscles. Now let's know about voluntary or skeletal muscles. Voluntary muscles are the muscles whose movements can be controlled by us. Means the muscles, those movement can be controlled by us. Means the movement that is controlled by us. The muscles whose movements can be controlled by us is called voluntary muscles. Muscles of hands, legs, arms and feet are the voluntary muscles. Whose movement can be controlled when we walk, run, play, dance or lift any object. Means if we can control the movement then the muscle is voluntary. So children now let's know about involuntary muscles. Some muscles are not in our control. These muscles are called involuntary muscles. Two types of involuntary muscles are present in our body. First is smooth muscles and the second is cardiac muscles. Smooth muscles are present in the walls of food pipe, intestines, stomach and blood vessels. Cardiac muscles are present inside the wall of the heart. Cardiac muscles pump blood throughout life to different parts of the body. These are the pictures of skeletal muscles, smooth muscles, cardiac muscles. What are the importance of muscles? Now let's know importances of muscles. Children, muscles help in moving the limbs and other parts of the body. Muscles present in internal organs and help them to carry out different functions more example sorry for example continuous movement of cardiac muscles lets the heart to pump blood 
and muscles provide support and protection to the wounds so children today's class is over and the rest of the chapter we will discuss about in the next video